show the other day, um, yesterday. And, uh, it's 445 right now, and it's like 69 degrees outside. It's been raining. Um, okay, I'm sorry I didn't make a video, guys. My mama did make a video, but it was a real um, crappy video. It was raining really, really bad. It was all shaky, and it was loud. You couldn't really see me. So, um, I went ahead and deleted the video, and I decided not to post it. So, um, I ended up actually getting fifth because I guess I didn't prop him up good to make his chest floor higher. So, he got fifth for that. making pedigrees for those two this one and those that one I'm probably gonna pedigree her him her and her but um there's her I didn't get to breed them yesterday because I didn't get home too late my uh, parents went ahead and left early but I wanted to stick around and see how everybody else ended up showing so my ag teacher brought me home and I didn't get back till late so she's shedding really bad I'm gonna mm, I'm gonna breed her later today. Look at this. Look at all that. Hold on, where's my little stick? of fur coming out. She's pretty shedding. She's shedding pretty bad. She didn't really shed the, during the summer, so she's shedding really bad now. But let's go like this a little, I guess. That's a lot of fur coming out. Fur on my mouth. Better read these water bottles again. Uh, I bred her a few hours ago, maybe four hours ago. Um, I left her in there for two hours, so go and give him a break. Uh, put my foot up here so I can get, really get some support while standing in here. Crap. Stupid stick. Okay, there we go. But. Oops. She got bread. She's making those little noises and stuff. She already feels bread. I don't know why she already feels bread. That's weird. But if they make this noise after you breed them, it usually means they're bread. You go like this. I feel like they can. They get, there's a buck and if they make that noise, they're bred. That's what I do. So she's bred. She's like, ooh, who's making that noise? Get over here, it's still the same thing. Uh, this little thing is over it, so it's definitely gone down some. Y'all can see 
goes up. And I'm gonna give him a break. I'm gonna breed my other doe from probably seven to nine, just to give him a little break. But he's doing good. But overall, I did pretty good yesterday. So I'm proud of myself. I have a showmanship clinic. Put y'all down real quick. I have a showmanship clinic to go to soon in Sangers. So that that's it's just not gonna only help me with showmanship, but it's gonna help me with racing a little bit. This thing's like a bit. Why is it not going to stupid? Thing. Okay, there it goes. Um. I guess she didn't take or something, or gave birth and ate the babies, but don't know what happened to her babies, and she's gotten smaller, so I don't know what happened to her babies, but you can tell she's smaller than she was, and she's gotten friendlier, so I don't know what happened to her babies, if they, she gave birth at night and something got them or something, but I don't know what happened to her babies, her... But I think he jumped over and bred her, but it's time to clean out her pen again. And then here's him. Uh, what I bred these uh, Californians for are my county meat pens. Um, uh, hopefully I'll have more than just two meat pens that I, so I could sell some. But I'm only keeping six this year, six babies. The rest are actually going to get sold. Um, after, at six weeks, yes, six weeks, I pick my six bests, put the three bests in one pen, and then the other three bests in another, and then sell the rest. I'm hoping to have at least six um, these two doves. And then my next show for meat pens will be at Houston. A little information about Houston. Um, I'll be sh showing in my junior competition with my lamb and I'll actually be doing youth with my um we lost sorry guys got uh, youth with my meat pens um, because youth is only for Texas kids. Kids who um I guess are who live in Texas legally and uh legally own the doe and goes to private or public schools um when they were in elementary school and secondary school. Through 18 and third graders who are nine or eight, my bad. Um, and then youth is or juniors the same way, uh, I th except I think it's actually 10 through 18 or something like that. But I'm going to Houston and then I'm also going to Austin, most likely, if my uh, entry dues aren't due yet to scramble to win a free market lamb so they can give me cash so I can go buy a, a market lamb next year for free but either way I'm gonna have four lambs probably next year and I'm probably gonna get a goat but yeah I'll leave y'all out with um her um so yeah bye guys I'll talk to y'all later actually you know what I have to tell you something I'm thinking about getting a mini rex I actually took put that wall back up over there and I already have this set up. A little carpet for her and a little box for her. I, don't, I haven't decided if I actually can get a mini rex, but this is where I would put my mini rex. So, yeah. That's what's going on. So, I guess I'll leave y'all out with her. Bye, guys.